Welcome back to Goal Revolution. In this video, we will uncover the secret of why on earth did Chelsea Football Club decide to break the bank and shatter transfer records by signing a relatively unknown player for a staggering 100 million euros. Before we start, hit that subscribe button now and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. In January 2023, Chelsea Football Club made headlines with a record-breaking transfer signing 22-year-old Ukrainian talent Mudrik for a staggering initial fee of 70 million euros, potentially rising to 100 million euros with add-ons. This landmark move not only set a new record for Shakhtar and the Ukrainian Premier League, but also made Mudrik the most expensive Ukrainian football of all time. Chelsea secured his signature ahead of Arsenal, hailing it as a transfer coup. However, since his arrival, Mudrik has encountered challenges and faced criticism from disappointed Chelsea fans due to several lackluster performances. Despite an impressive debut off the bench against Liverpool, Mudrik's time at Chelsea has been far from smooth sailing. The young Ukrainian has only started a few Premier League games, contributing with two assists but no goals. But the turmoil surrounding Chelsea has hardly helped, with Mudrik already playing under two managers and set to work with a third when Maurizio Pochettino takes the reins this summer. Doubts have been raised about his potential, leading some to label him as a potential flop. But before we call this signing a flop, let's uncover what makes Mudrik so valuable. At the start of last season, he was unknown outside of Ukraine with a transfer value of under £1 million. Now he's one of the most coveted young players in Europe. Following an explosive rise, Mikhailo Mudrik looks destined for big things. Mudrik's remarkable football journey has been a testament to his determination and undeniable talent. It all began in 2010, when he took his first steps at Metalist Kharkiv, owning his skills and passion for the beautiful game. In 2014, he moved to Dnipro's academy, where he quickly caught the eye of scouts with his raw potential. It was Shakhtar Donetsk that recognized the gem, and in 2016, Mudrik signed for their prestigious academy. In the 2018-2019 season, he made waves in Shakhtar's under-21 category. A year later, he earned his promotion to the first team, making his debut at the tender age of 17 in a Ukrainian Cup match against Olympic Donetsk, which Shakhtar won 1-0. While he showed glimpses of his immense talent, opportunities were limited, leading to a loan spell at Arsenal Kiev in February 2019, where he gained valuable experience. Upon returning to Shakhtar in January 2021, he faced the challenge of earning a spot in the first team, impressing sporadically under manager Luis Castro. However, the 2021-2022 season saw Mudrik truly flourish. With the arrival of Roberto de Zerbi as a manager, he found his stride, seizing the opportunity to showcase his exceptional abilities. De Zerbi's trust and belief in the young winger propelled him to new heights, and he repaid that faith with dazzling performances on the pitch. Mudrik's UEFA Champions League debut against Monaco was a moment to remember, with his assist securing Shakhtar's qualification. His first goal for the club followed soon after, and his fourth was nothing short of extraordinary. The 2022-2023 season has been an extension of Mudrik's brilliance, with goals and assists in Champions League matches setting him apart as a force to be reckoned with on the European stage. His contributions led to numerous honours, including being named the Ukrainian Footballer of the Year and Shakhtar's Player of the Year. His talent was not only limited to club football. Between 2017 and 2018, Mudrik showcased his talent as part of the Ukraine national under-17 football team. From 2018 to 2019, he continued to impress while representing the Ukraine national under-19 football team, making 12 appearances and scoring 5 goals. His progress led to his debut for the Ukraine national under-21 football team in 2019, where he amassed 16 appearances and scored 3 goals. The following year, in June 2023, Mudrik returned to the Ukraine U21 squad for the 2023 UEFA European Under-21 Championship. During the tournament, he started in two matches and contributed with two assists, further solidifying his impact on the national stage. In April 2022, Mudrik received a call-up for the Ukraine national team's training camp in Slovenia. His awaited debut came on 1st of June, in the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifying playoff semi-finals, where Ukraine emerged victorious with a 3-1 win against Scotland. 
What sets Mudrik apart from other wingers in his age group is the way he controls his pace. There are a small handful of players who possess blistering speed with the ball at their feet, but Mudrik's ability goes even further. He has an uncanny ability to decelerate or accelerate seemingly instantaneously as if he were controlling it with a dial. That unique control over his acceleration makes Mudrik a fearsome ball carrier. He mainly receives the ball wide and deep on the left, often towards or even behind the halfway line. From these deep areas, he can drive with the ball from extended distances and act as a line-breaking carrier to progress the ball up the pitch. He'll often receive the ball and hesitate for a moment, using his gravity to draw opposition markers towards him while essentially standing still himself. Then, he'll burst into life. He takes many small touches with the ball without impeding his speed, giving him maximum control when carrying through swathes of players he's attracted. His changes of pace, remarkable touch and control, and seamless shifts of weight make him a nightmare to defend. Higher up the pitch, Mudrik can also pose a 1v1 threat out wide. When isolating a fullback, he can employ the same tactic, slowing himself and the defender to a near standstill, shifting gears at full speed to beat his man, and then slowing down again to pick a pass or cross. As with many young players, his end product and decision making in those situations need refinement. However, his capacity to regularly get in such positions is what makes him such an exciting player. Mudrik also has the technical ability to receive the ball in different areas. He is excellent at roaming in the left half space and receiving the ball on the half turn, positioning himself in between the lines to then drive at an opposition backline directly. Chelsea's lack of firepower had already seen them secure the loan deal for Atletico Madrid's Soal Felix. The Blues were desperate to improve their attacking output, having only scored 21 goals in the first 18 Premier League games in the 2022-23 season. Part of Mudrik's appeal is his ability to play on either flank. He generally prefers to operate as an inverted winger on the left-hand side, but he is happy on the right too. After a goalless start, Mudrik found the net in his first preseason outing on Chelsea's tour of the United States, combining superbly with new signing Nicholas Jackson to fire home in Saturday's 4-3 win over Brighton in Philadelphia. Asked to reflect on his performance, he said, It is not all my potential. It is only 20%. Chelsea fans will be hoping for his full potential to unleash next season as they will not be playing European football next season after finishing 12th in the league, winning only 11 games and losing 16. Will he be able to live his full potential and change the tag from breaking the bank to breaking the records? Do let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest football news and stories.